What up, what up, what up? Project Huracan, day whoever knows. <laughs> Amprac 30, dude. Let's get running. Guys, so what we got this is our amp board for the Huracan. Uh, DJ's gonna go ahead and wire this thing up like Superman fast, YouTube style. Um, power ground distribution. We got our 8 to 12 Pro from Moscone, our DSP. We did finish the bottom of this board. It is an ABS plastic on the bottom because this is gonna be completely removable for any kind of service in the frunk of the Lamborghini. Um, this is gonna be on Anderson plugs. Deutsch connectors for all the signal and speaker leads. Um, whole shebang. So all of our interconnects are actually on the board itself. Uh, we're using some 9000 series RCAs from Stinger. These things are absolutely gangster if you guys are not familiar. Um, probably one of the few RCAs that you'll ever use in the car stereo industry where you can audibly hear a difference in the signal quality. Um, yeah, so our 110 is going to run our subs. We have two... Pro 410s from Moscone. These are going to be a dedicated left-right. Uh, we're going to bridge a mid-base on the left side, and then we have three tweet. So power-wise, we have uh, 320 watts on the mid-base drivers, and we got 120 watts to the three and 120 watts to the tweet, which should do some some work. And then I think we're about 900 on the sub, if I'm not mistaken. You guys caught me on that. It's probably the only one I didn't look up. But um, we're gonna control these all in DSP direct mode as well. So the DSP will do everything. It's a really cool feature of these pro amps. It bypasses having multiple settings, guessing where you left them. Everything is in the DSP, which is pretty, pretty awesome. So without further ado, we're gonna let DJ run Superman. So super fast YouTube mode. Shit. 
time lapse and time lapse and time lapse. We're gonna stop. We wanted to catch you guys up, show you where we're at with the amp board and stuff. So DJ been doing his thing. So got the amp board all cabled up. This is a uh, mine the uh, USB here, but so it's our three Moscone Pro amps. It's uh, two four tens, the one ten. Wanted to take a moment and just kind of explain to you guys. I mean, there's a lot of stuff on this board, and obviously there's not a lot of space. So on the back side here. So this is all the other goodies. So power ground distribution, the relay for turn on, the DSP, obviously. He's got these harnesses mapped out. Not only are they mapped out, but they're all completely labeled. So one of the most important aspects of this build for us, um, in any Lamborghini, actually, any one of these platform Lamborghinis, is uh, having the serviceability. So we even got Anderson plug on the power ground. So in this frunk, if you would, <laughs> the... Um, Everything's got to remain completely serviceable. This thing goes to the dealership for any kind of service work. This tub has to be removable. So what we did is we made it to where everything is connected on Deutsch connectors. Um, everything's dressed, obviously. So our board in the bottom houses our train horn components. So air tank, compressor, all that. Uh, our main fuse for the system, a relay for the train horn system. But... Um, if this is to go to dealer service, our amp board sits on top and everything. This tub also seals. I don't know if a lot of people know that, but it's super important this thing stays sealed. Um, so our board sits on top here. Everything connects on the Deutsch connectors, our lighting, our DSP control, everything is right there. And then um, our trim just kind of trims the whole thing out. So this thing ever has to go to service, um, it's literally connect the plugs together as they're labeled, disconnect them as they're labeled. And I mean, and this is completely dealer serviceable. Um, let's see what else we got. We got a bunch of goodies inside. He's gonna be messing with here too. Let's see. So, so in here, let's see, I don't know if you can really see this. Let's see if the light's on. Help a little bit, I guess. So in here, kind of behind this panel here, so under here, there's a foam block that sits in here, but this will be all of our uh, power ground distribution, our relays, the whole nine yards for all the accessories that we're doing in this car. So we'll have all the lighting accessories, all the, I mean, we do the stop turn reverse system, the fiber optic headliner, which I'll show you guys some clips of that, but uh, this will probably be one of the only Lamborghinis that ever have a fiber optic headliner. Um, and I say that I'm not super certain, but I know we had to build a headliner to make it happen because in these vehicles are glued to the roof. So um, I'm gonna assume that this will be one of the few Lamborghinis out there that has a full fiber optic headliner. But anyway, all of our accessories, we basically build completely isolated circuits from the vehicle. They're all fused, all of our own relays. So we build kind of a grand central station, kind of like what you guys saw with Sheila, what we were doing with Sheila. So most of our builds like that, we, um, we completely set them up. So they're like kind of closed circuit, if you would. But uh, we're going to let DJ get back to it. We're going to chase him through the rest of this and hopefully get that amp board put in today. I'll show you. Actually, I got to um, show you what's been cooking in the fab kitchen. Cooking in the back kitchen. <laughs> in, the, in the back kitchen. So uh, this is actually the trim panel. We actually did some work on this. So this piece here is the piece that we have to trim out the amplifiers. I think you saw earlier in the videos. So we molded in a, uh, a little plaque here the client's business logo that we put on his vehicles and stuff. So it just plugs in there. We're going to light it up. So actually you guys saw that in the, um, I forgot you guys saw that in the enclosure video. So where we primed, painted it, the whole nine yards, just got it prepped. Um, this is going to get wrapped today and we have some other things going on, but uh, yeah. Other than that, just wanted to catch up real quick, show you where we were. So you guys stay with us. So, so we're going to take this piece. This is um, kind of changing paces a little bit. We're ready to wrap our, enclosure we still got to do some pressed grill some other little goodies but it's ready to wrap at this point we wanted to take this uh, acrylic piece that we molded into this guy this is for our amp rack in the next video um, we molded this piece in this is just a badge for our client but um kind of wanted to shape it down get it painted and we were just gonna give you guys a quick walkthrough on it so we molded this in so there's no tolerance for it, uh, for vinyl. So we're gonna wrap it this down real quick, uh, flush trim it, put a chamfer on it, and then we're gonna prime and paint it. So uh, let's do this.
see this but we took a, a 30 second of an inch out of this this is gonna be for our vinyl tolerance uh, if you guys don't have these uh, these are the trays from mobile solutions what's really cool about these is they make your job really easy but um they give you all the tolerances so with this tray for example if you've got vinyl like we just did on this one we take out a 30 second it's labeled vinyl um, quarter inch here this is I'm not exactly sure what that one is, but you got like, so for example, vinyl and carpet is a three sixteenths of an inch. Carpet carpet is like the three eighths, if I'm not mistaken. So um, you can get these trays from Brian at Mobile Solutions. They're on his website, or you can reach out to him. Brian's a great guy, really easy to work with. So if you have questions about fab tools and stuff, I mean, Brian's tools are legit, man. They really help our job and make us quicker. But um, let's go ahead. We're gonna get this one flush trimmed off. And then we're gonna get a chamfer, chamfer, a chamfer. We're gonna get a chamfer put on it, and then we're gonna go ahead and prime it and paint it. We'll show you what it all looks like. So, let's see. Let's get our height set. trim that off just kind of show you here you would think GoPro would give you like a third arm to be able to do this stuff so now that we've cut that back when we drop our plug in you're gonna notice we have a little bit of tolerance now which is perfect it's I mean other than where you can see the tape here but this is basically our vinyl thickness um, that way we have perfect plugs and all the seams are good which is super important when you're doing this stuff so I'm gonna get you guys set up. We're gonna put a small chamfer on this, uh, just something to take the edge off. And it's actually gonna be our, kind of our light on this piece. We're gonna actually murder this thing out and prime it, paint it with a satin black sem. And then at the edge where we chamfer it after we clean it all up is actually gonna be the only piece that lights. So let's get you back up here. Get a small chamfer. All this acrylic stuff you guys can do some cool stuff with this we try to try to slow it down and cover a little bit more of our techniques with these but um it's cool you know this stuff you can do whatever you want with it so. another cool thing about acrylic is it lights up so many different ways so like creatively you can just you can get really trick with it You guys have done any cool acrylic work any of the guys in the industry or something throw some photos in our comments man we'd love to check it out i mean that kind of creativity sharing the work is kind of how it keeps everybody moving so be some cool stuff to see what you guys are doing out there let's 
it. Now with this, we're just gonna do a uh, just a small little chamfer. We just want a little edge on it just for the light. I always try to route her without tape, but uh, we just didn't want to mess up the acrylic on this one. So, yep, so there we go. Let's see if you guys can get in here at all. So now with our piece, we see we have that really small chamfer on the edge there. Again, it's got his logo on it. It's just kind of etched in the acrylic. So once this is painted, we're gonna paint the whole thing, and then we're gonna go back and uh, sand our chamfer out, we'll prime and paint it. But when we sand our chamfer here, um, that'll be the only edge on this piece that illuminates. So it'll still kind of bring some focus to the piece with the lighting. Um, it's just a little more subtle. So just a different way to play with the badge. So let's go ahead and get this thing set up, and we're gonna prime it, paint it, and uh, keep moving. if we have enough here but um this is just a self-etching primer from sem uh, this stuff is great bottom of the can here but so what's cool about the self-etching primer we use this on a like grill material that we get from Brian um, like grill mesh and stuff before we paint it uh, the self-etching stuff it works on uh, you can use it on aluminum metal it just kind of bites you know and it gives us a surface so what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this flash off um, as soon as the primers dry here you can kind of see where it was etched now which is really cool so but once this dries we're gonna go blast this with a uh, a satin sem dye um, that'll give it that kind of matte plastic look like that oem plastic look um, so we had a gopro malfunction i had a dead battery so i went ahead and kept repping some panels waited for a battery to charge again this is the piece for uh the frunk for dj so we're going to get this wrapped this is actually going to be a combination of carpet and vinyl 
So the front side will be vinyl here, the back side will be carpet. So we're just gonna keep on keeping on here, get this done. He's about wrapped up in that frunk. Um, so we're gonna plug some amps in and should be basically wrapped up up there. We'll have our insert piece that we painted earlier. We can check in and show you that. So let's see where it is here. So still sitting before we sand it, but we did dust some black on it and stuff. It still has the backing on it, so that's what you're seeing there, but for the most part, it came out really nice. So what we're gonna do is once this is super dry, we'll just sand this edge ever so slightly to where we put that mild chamfer, and that's where our lights are gonna glow. So, um, so we got the amplifiers in. We got our top piece all wrapped there. So we did the carpet on the back side there with the uh, Napa on the front. So we do have our badge in here. We're gonna pull that back out. We just put it in there to test fit it and stuff. Uh, we are gonna cut that edge down just to get that illumination around it. It's gonna be kind of just like a hairline around that piece lit up. So it looks really, really sharp too. So just nice profiles and stuff like that. I mean, we're, this thing, man, I'm super, super happy with how this thing's coming together. It's a really cool build, so. Yeah, but uh, he's wrapping up that frunk. I'm gonna keep wrapping some panels and uh, hopefully we're getting close. We're gonna have a car here pretty soon. So uh, stay tuned.